Hey everyone, this is Roman with Hydra Painting. Uh, new year, new me, new Squigoth. This is Princess my Gargantuan Squigoth. Uh, my New Year's resolution that I got pretty, you know, quickly and got it done pretty quickly for LVO. So I'll be taking this to friendlies and I'll be having lots of fun meeting new people, you know, drinking and throwing dice around. So pretty cool. Um, super excited. I got Princess uh, in a trade. I was... Uh, at an RTT, and I met uh, the owner of the store that was doing the RTT, and he had this Squigoth in a consignment case, so we worked out a trade, and I got this Squigoth. Super excited, because I saw the Squigoth, I really wanted it, um, but he couldn't really give me a price on it. Uh, he had a commission painted, and all this other stuff, and later on he called me up, and yeah, we worked out a trade, so... I'm super stoked. It was painted this like dark lizard green and all the armor and everything was this really dark brown like metallic copper and it was not in the best shape. Uh, unfortunately since this was for LVO I didn't have the time to strip it and I was afraid if I did strip it with certain you know like LA's Awesome or anything that some of the pieces would just fall apart and it would be hard to glue, get, glue back together. So I did decide to repaint it. Thankfully none of the details really like uh, I didn't lose any of the details. Uh, this was all Chaos Black spray with a Zenithal of White Scars. And then after that, I had this MIG white uh, dry brush paint, and I just hit that all over. Uh, just the lizard part, the squig part. Uh, the top part here was all sprayed black, and then I used MIG dry brush paints. So it was a MIG gun metal and then a MIG light metal dry brush. So that's what I used for the top here. And then just some blues uh, to accent it around. Um, but for the big swig off itself, the skin I used, uh, it was all like a slap chop or half ass slap chop that I'll call ass chop. So I used the contrast Vulpus Pink on the entire like pink uh, skin of the model. So on every little scale skin, after that, I dry brushed it with uh, Citadel Emperor's Children. And then I gave it a shade of uh, Carol Burr Crimson. And after that, I hit it with a dry brush of Fulgrim Pink. And that's basically what I did for the skin. Um, every little skin part. So it's a little, it's like the whitish pink for the topmost parts. Um, after that... Of uh, the armor, I worked on the armor, which was, since it was all dry brushed white, I hit it with Talisar Blue, the contrast GW uh, Talisar Blue, and then I, with the all the like metallic spikes and little parts here and there on the armor, I hit that with Speed Paint, uh, Army Painter Speed Paint, it was there, I believe it's Broadsword Silver or Enchanted Silver, one of the silvers, the darker of the two, which is closer to like a, a bluish silver, and then I washed it black, just the silver parts. After that, I dry brushed the entire model with the MIG dry brush light metal uh, to give it kind of that weathered look and hopefully to hit most of the rivets so that way I didn't have to like hand dot the rivets itself. Um, all of the bone and the nails and stuff uh, that Princess has, that was just the dry brush of the white from the Zenithal and then uh, Agrax Earthshade. Um, for the little pimples that um, unfortunately Princess has, it was, I believe that was Moot Green. If, is Moot Green still a color, or am I thinking of Scorpion Green? I'm not too sure. It, it's it's a bright Citadel Green, and then I just hit it with like a little dot of a poisonous green from Army Painter. Uh, the eyes are just yellow, some just random yellows that I had. Then I hit it with like a glaze. And then I went top with a brighter yellow. The mouth and the teeth for Princess. She's got a really nice smile, as you can see. Uh, the tongue was, I believe, warp, warp lightning uh, contrast. And the gums were some kind of turquoise. Not pterodon, but the one lighter than that. Uh, it kind of mixed in the middle, which was fine, where the gums and the, uh, uh, the tongue kind of meet. So, I mean... Yeah, I was going for it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, if people say that's cool, then yeah, definitely. I did it on purpose. Um, and then the teeth them, the, the teeth themselves were Agrax Earthshade uh, from the uh, White Scar uh, Zenithal. 
So that's what I did. And then I hit the tongue with a gloss varnish. So it's a little shiny. The tusks, the little metal band was an army painter copper speed paint. And then I hit the, uh, the beginning of the tusks with, uh, the contrast of Gragnac sewer. And then I hit it with, uh, do, do, do skeleton horde. And then the tippy tops of the horns, uh, it was just some kind of bleached bone or I believe wraith bone. So that's it for the kind of paint job itself. It was super easy. I think it took like 10 hours. Um, I played a game with it pre-painted and it was terrible. It like died to two chaos vindicators, but that doesn't count because it wasn't painted the way I wanted to, uh, that I wanted. And you know, it was someone else's squig at that moment before I painted it in my mind. So after that, you know, after that game, I took it home and I did all the priming and the spring. And then I did the base coats the next day. I woke up, did some pickleball errands. And then the rest of the day I was just painting it up. So yeah, it was pretty relative. It was quick. It was relatively quick. Oh, for the how to, um, I did use MIG, uh, rust pigment. So I just kind of stippled that on and, uh, then hit it with a sealer to kind of seal it all in the gun up here is 3d printed unfortunately i don't have i didn't have the time to look for an actual forge world super cannon i also think they're out of production so on a discord forum that i'm part of a dude was really cool he helped me out with one he printed out like next day ready to go and then i slapped like some random stuff like a, a boarding plank and uh this like chain from a wrecking ball and this little like you know hazard sign here so this is the little pilot himself. He's like super strong. The lighting is kind of like making him look shinier than he actually is. But uh, he's got his little mohawk to kind of match princess. So he's the pilot. I don't know how he pilots a giant squig, but that's just how it works. Uh, carrying this thing around for LVO is going to be a hassle. Thankfully, I did a couple of little magnetizing things here and there to help me out. So first things first, the gun itself is magnetized. So it just pops out. Uh, magnet is on the bottom, magnet's right here. The magnets don't touch, but it stays just fine uh, where it's supposed to go. So that's that. Um, the chains here, these are hobby chains that I got from a craft store. And they're actually magnetized right under here. So I just pop them out. Like so. And then this whole thing pops out. And it is magnetized. The magnet's right there, magnet's right there. Uh, I did not do the magnetizing here. That was already done by the previous owner. Um, but it just kind of snaps into place pretty well. Then you grab the little chains here and there. The chains are like the hardest part to kind of put back. Ugh, my camera is not helping me out here. But uh, go, go, go. There we go. So it just clicks on. And let's try this one because this is something I'm going to have to do. Uh, most of my orc list is on a magnetized tray. This guy's not going to be magnetized on that tray. Um, he's just probably going to be in a foam case. But in case during the game I do need to move around in certain spots, I can remove the howda. I think that's what it's called. And it should be easier to maneuver him some more. I'm playing in friendly, so there shouldn't be like that much of an issue with other players like giving me crap for this model. Um, and I hope not, because... It's all about, like, the rule of cool. Um, having a theme and, and playing it. My theme is all squigs, all hogs. You know, got to crank my hog. Go in and uh, have some fun. So anything that's on a pig or a hog is on it. And I decided, hey, I want the biggest one. So this is Princess, yeah. So the only thing that's not painted on Princess are the little Space Marine helmets. Uh, those will get painted once the model kills some Space Marines. So that's what I usually do. Unfortunately, in, like, my friend group... Um, nobody plays Space Marines, so I can't, uh, I can't paint them yet. Uh, she did play against, uh, with her new paint job against Admic and Chaos Demons and did, like, ridiculous damage, like, 48 damage to Greater Demons and, you know, just smashed apart Admic. So, it's pretty nasty with the minus one strat because it's toughness 13. So, with the minus one, it, basically, most things are going to need sixes uh to wound it so yeah i'm pretty excited about that the only downside with this model at the moment is that it like is very tilty so i'm gonna add this like little wooden 
spacer thing here and it's going to go right underneath her little footsies here and I'm just going to glue it so it's going to be painted black and I'm going to glue it underneath her foot hopefully people don't really notice it that much or it's not that noticeable and it does help with the balance I think one more needs to go underneath her little toesies right there but yeah that's princess I'm super excited uh if you see her at LVO in the friendlies which is in another hall it's not the one where everyone's doing champs and it's all super sweaty uh if you see princess uh, say hello she's super friendly uh love small children and yeah thank you so much for watching this vid if you like it i'll post more i'll have another one with my whole lvo army and my display board coming up soon i'll be making that today actually so it'll be up after this one and uh yeah i'll see you at lvo um have a good one like and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and yeah this is roman with hydra painting have a good one